inside wall. So Stewart has the lead with one more lap to go. Sam Hornish is running second. Scott Sharp is in third position. And that's Jack Sprague up there in fourth, battling with Al Unser Jr., who suddenly finds himself not in the lead of this race, but in fifth position. Is Tony Stewart going to be able to hold on to the lead for the next half lap? We'll see if Sam Hornish can do the same thing that Alan Jr. had done to him. He just wants to see if he gets underneath there and makes a good run underneath the field three and four. Tony Stewart's best finish in I Rock here prior to today was second in 2000. He started second, finished second. Let's see how things shake out as they come off the banking and head for the checkered flag. Stewart and Hornish and Sharp, but they come down. There will be no move, and Tony Stewart wins round one of True Value IROC 26 holding off strong challenges by some international by some uh, Indy Racing League drivers Sam Horney second after crashing on the first lap Scott Sharp finishes third then Jack Sprague fourth and Al Unser Jr. who led for most of this race. and I don't think anybody can pass Stewart without a lot of drafting help it will have to have be have help to do it on the outside he's not going to give the bottom up white flag Newman's going to make a move, guys. He's going to make it pretty quick. Stewart has one IROC victory, 2001 in Michigan. Truex Jr. in the eight car, he got a pretty good run off turn two. He's going to pull right up to the back of Ryan Newman in the 12 car. One more set of quarters to get it done, boys. Newman's going to need some help, though, Larry. He's going to need some help off of turn four. He wants to build a beat, Tony Stewart. Stewart off the bottom, sweeps around, heads for the line, and Tony Stewart is 0-4, no more. Stewart wins in Texas. From last to first. Woo. Ryan Newman second, Martin Truex Jr. third, Mark Martin fourth, and Matt Kenseth fifth. Tony Stewart is a winner at last at Texas Motor Speedway. Definitely so. White is going to be the flag that's displayed this time by. Well, about three and a half, four miles, about 15 more shifts, one lap around this course. You know, it was a year ago during the Crown Royal Legends of IROC that we talked with Mario Andretti and Jay Signori and the other IROC folks about, hey, how about a road race? And uh, Mario thought, of course, that would be just a, a fantastic idea to even things up. And the more everybody talked about it, the more it seemed like a great idea. So here we are at Daytona. Now, this February in Daytona, at Driver Introductions, it was Tony Stewart who said, hey, how about a dirt track race? And uh, he'll loan you the dirt track. Oh, Mark Martin. And his woes continue. He's off course one more time. See yeah, there? right now he's in the ninth position as we talk a make or break race for Mark Martin tonight. So you never know what we might see in the future for Crown Royal Ira. And Tony has just the dirt track race that he'd love to see one at. Right now he's got a mirror full of Max Pappas as they go up on the banking for the final time. Stewart and Pappas are the only drivers to lead tonight. Night for Tony Stewart. And Sam Hornish gives up third place, slowing in turn two. He's back to, uh, well, fifth. That was Brian Newman going by and see if Hornish can hang on and get a finish here. Yeah, Scott Sharp, Sharp has gone by. Yep, for fourth. Hornish has a little bit of cushion behind him now trying to hang on to this top five finish. Tony Stewart looking for his fourth IROC victory. If there's a form of racing Stewart can't master, we haven't seen it. Yep. IRL champion, Rolex 24 hours, NASCAR Nextel Cup champion, and a winner again in Crown Royal IROC. Back-to-back -back wins, one at Texas, now he wins here. How impressive was it, Larry? In less than two laps, he charged through the field and was a contender for the lead. But remember, he will leave here with a points lead, so at Atlanta, guess where they have to start? Dead last again. Max Pappas led three laps. He's the runner-up tonight. Ryan Newman third, Scott Sharp, Sam Hornish. 
And at the start finish line, Max Angelelli edged Frank Kimmel for seventh place. Tony Stewart will head for victory lane in a minute. So will we.